Hey everybody, The Kiosk Presents is really happy today because it's February and that means it's the start of racing season and we've got one of the most favorite drivers of all time in the, in the NASCAR circuit, certainly one of the great family names in, in all of NASCAR, Kyle Petty, here to talk to us today. Kyle, welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate you guys having us. And you know, I'm in sunny Florida and it's 80 degrees, and I'm sure the weather's the same in Buffalo. This <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're somewhere going up from 32 to 35 today, so we're catching up to you real quick. All right, man. <laughs> hey, I, I understand that you have teamed up with the United States Postal Service to unveil something really special, limited edition Muscle Car Forever stamps. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It sounds great. Yeah, it's, it's part of their America on the Move series, uh, stamp series. This is number three in that series. Uh, and it's the American muscle cars from the 60s and 70s. Uh, and they are phenomenal. There's five stamps in the collection. As you say, they're forever stamps. It's the limited edition. Uh, we start with the 66 uh, Pontiac GTO. Then we go to the 67 uh, Shelby Mustang, which is a phenomenal car. But my favorite has been obviously this, the, the 1969 Dodge Charger wing car, the Daytona, yeah. uh, that was like the Plymouth Superbird, but the wing cars were always big for me. And then the 70 Plymouth Cuda with the Hemi in it, uh, that's a big car. And then it, we end with uh, the 70 uh, Chevelle, the SS Chevelle. So those are the muscle cars of my youth, the late 60s, the early 70s. Uh, you start looking at those, those are the things that I remember, the big Hemis, uh, the small block Chevys, that type stuff. And, these stamps are phenomenal. The artwork on them uh, is incredible, and it brings back a lot of memories when you start looking at them. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing them myself, and they're spectacular. The colors, the artwork is great. And I've got to tell you, even myself, now I was 12 years old in 1970, and me and my friends, were we were glued to Wide World of Sports and everything else, and when we would see that, that car come out with that crazy wing that looked like it came in from outer space, i got to tell you, we fell in love with it. That, that was our car, just like you. Yeah, I think everybody did. I think when you looked at that car, you know, you thought that's so different than anything that could come along. We mm -hmm. compare it to the 66 GTO on the stamps, or you look uh, a couple of years later to the Chevelle. Uh, it's like the, the manufacturer went way ahead and then come back to, to Earth, and they were almost like spaceships. But first car in NASCAR to run over 200 miles an hour is that Charger Daytona, mm -hmm. uh, the wing car. And they put on some great races at Daytona and Talladega back in the in 70 and 71. So that's to me, that's the iconic car of NASCAR and the iconic car of this series. Oh, yeah. Well, in fact, that that uh, that Daytona, it won its very first race, I think, at the inaugural uh, Talladega race, didn't it? Y yes, it did. So it was uh, and went on to win multiple races with, with Buddy Baker and, and my father and Pete Hamilton, guys like that driving those cars. So uh, when you look back in the history of the sport, it played a prominent role. And, and like I said, it's the centerpiece to me. Uh, of the, the American Muscle Car Series and America on the Move Series here with these muscle car stamps. Yeah, yeah. Now, you were just involved in, a, in an unveiling ceremony uh, just uh, yesterday, I believe, with, uh, with your dad and with uh, the U.S. Postmaster, Tom Donahoe, right? Yeah, we're doing that this afternoon. Oh, okay. Uh, you, get, you guys get first look at it. So we're doing that this afternoon. Yes, we are. Uh, and the, the stamps go on sale today. They're available today, so that's exciting. Uh, and, you know, there a lot of people have already pre-ordered them. Uh, if you, if you know, this is a piece of Americana that the U.S. Postal Service has come up with America on the Move stamp series, and, and it's a piece of Americana when you look at these, and uh, these are things that, that kids are going to remember for a long time, that parents will remember for a long time, and obviously parents my age and grandparents my age uh, will we'll cherish these things because it does bring back a lot of memories. Absolutely. Well, stamp collectors or racing fans, those are going to be available now, so hey, Get out there and get them. They're a limited edition, and they're going to be wonderful to have. Kyle, can we talk a little bit about the racing season? Because it's, it's, it's all brand new. I know there's some new things about the cars. And I've got to say, I was so impressed because <clears throat> I'm one of those people that really has championed Danica Patrick. And just to see her not just be the fastest woman but be the fastest driver is a great, exciting way to start the season. Yeah, it's very historic. Uh, you know, the start of the season... Uh, this is the most historic event that's been a part of our sport in a long period of time. The first female on the pole for a top series race, a, a cup series, sprint cup series race. Uh, you know, in, in the 65 years of the sports and the 55 years of the Daytona 500. So I think when, when we look back on this, I, I don't think we all realize how historic it is. But uh, she's run great down here so far. I thought she drove a great, great duel yesterday. 
kind of stayed out of trouble, just kind of bided her time. Didn't want to tear up that race car. It's a fast race car and show what she has on Sunday. And uh, I think it'll be an exciting race and it'll be pretty cool to watch her, uh, the new face of the sport almost. And Jeff Gordon, who has been the face of the sport for so many years, lead us down to the start of the, of the 2013 season. Oh, absolutely. And, and very true. I mean, uh, it's wonderful all the attention that Danic Patrick's getting, but hey, there's some guys out there that have been around for a number of years and even some new guys. Who are we really want to look for, not only at uh, Daytona this year, but you know, early in the season as, uh, as everything gets going? You know what, with the new car, with the Gen 6, uh, the new Toyota design, the new Ford design, the, the new Chevy design. That's really hard to say. I think the Childress group has started off really strong with Kevin Harvick. Mm -hmm. uh, and those guys uh, start off really strong. They've come down here and won a couple of races. Childress's team seem to ebb and flow, so that, I'm not sure about that. I think the Gibbs organization, uh, with the addition of Matt Kenseth this year, is going to be incredibly strong. And I look for Carl to kind of rebound. Uh, from what from the year he had last year. I look for him this year on, on the total year. Uh, but Daytona, I think Daytona is anybody's guess. Sure, sure. Now, I, I know at the beginning of every season, there's a little bit, maybe some new rules to be looking for, and maybe some new safety features that have come out. Uh, anything of note that our, that our viewers should be uh, kind of looking for when they tune in to watch the races this year? No, you know, the biggest thing this year is, is the car itself, uh, the Generation 6. I think when you, when you turn on your TV on Sunday, you'll be able to tell which is a Ford, which is a Chevy, and which is a, is a Toyota. And in the past, we haven't had that. Uh, mm -hmm. The car has been so generic, you didn't know. You had to really look for the decals on the car uh, to try to figure out what the car was. Uh, but I think the, the biggest thing in the sport right now, besides Danica Patrick, is the new car, the Gen 6. I think it's taken a back seat to her, but uh, Ford and Chevy and Toyota have done a tremendous job and spent millions of dollars redesigning these cars, and I think that, that'll be the story as we go through the year. Sounds great. Well, uh, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, we're, we're always happy to have you on our show, and ladies and gentlemen, once again, Check out the Forever uh, Muscle Cars Forever stamps with the U.S. Postal Service. They are exciting and colorful, great artwork, and you're really going to want to collect those. And uh, again, thanks for coming. It's all about it today.